we were ambushed. Two of my buddies. I got hit in the leg. And I lost most of my hearing. I only have about 40% hearing. And that's what hearing aids are. So I don't hear people a lot of times, you know, when they talk. You know. I did two tours in Vietnam. But my biggest battle in life was afterwards. Post traumatic stress disorder. Oh, I was a mess. I was a mess. Morning after morning. sweet bride would come down to where I was sitting and she would go on my feet and she would read the word of God to me. Praise God. And she would encourage me. Tony, you are a mighty man of God. You're a wonderful husband. You're a wonderful father. Praise the Lord. Thank you, baby. Well, only if you I, 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 I don't feel I'm done. I, I want to read. I want to just read something to you that after I heard that song and I went home, uh, I just started keeping a little journal here on our travels when we left Oklahoma. And I just, I just want to read to you a little bit of how God has taken my heart. The goodness of God. And the thing that, that jumped out at me was the fact that the song says, His goodness is running after you. Amen. Anybody feel the goodness of God? Amen. We know the goodness of God. We know it's there. We know it's available. Amen. But it's running after us. He hasn't forgotten us. The goodness of God is running after us. What does that mean to us? I get so excited when I think about that. Because the goodness of God is part of what God is, part of who God is. Amen. And he's wanting to share this goodness with us, Amen. with his children. His love, his compassion for us in this goodness that is just, I, I can't tell you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just running and I'm looking back and I'm seeing this, this flow of goodness following me. Good girl, sister. Good girl. No, <laughs> following me. Amen. And that's, that's what I, that was what was impressed on me. That it was truly following me. I turn and I look and I said to Tony, I, I physically, you know, I'm sitting at the cabin and I'm writing a few words down. And I got this impression of this good running after me. And it was like God said, stand up, Dan, and turn around and look. And I did that. And what I saw was a panoramic view of my life in just a moment. And all I could see was the goodness of God. Praise God. What he had done for Praise me. God. How he had kept me. Hallelujah. And I can testify to you today. He is keeping you. And you, Eli. And the pastor. And Amen. all of you that are sitting before us. God is keeping us. And we're, sometimes we're not aware. That's why I said, don't let your senses get dull. Be aware that God's keeping power is Amen. working for you. So I'm, I'm just going to read this briefly. I know Tony has something to share, but. He said I could do this, so I'm taking advantage of it. It says, so take, you know, I, I wrote to myself, so taken by this thought of the goodness of God running after me, God moved on my heart and painted the picture in my mind of his goodness, his pursuing me. I stopped and I turned and backward I looked 
and what I saw was all of the marvelous encounters that I have had with God. Amen. You know, just reminding me, making, causing me to have that sense of, of uh, cherishing <coughs> these memories all over again. It was just for me. It was. It was such a blessing to know that God cares about me that much. Amen. Uh, such goodness has brought me to this place in my life. And this I'm writing to myself. Such goodness has brought this to this place in my life where I see God as Father, my Abba, my Amen. Dad. Yes. That person that I can crawl up on the lap and say, I need you. I need Amen. your help. I need yes. your guidance. My Abba, my faithful friend. Amen. Always with me. I have been changed and made new. Understanding that there is no regret in me for all of my life. Since I began walking with my God, my King, my Jehovah Nisi, my Jehovah El, that almighty God where everything originated from. He chose me. Amen. And he chose all of you that are sitting yes. here. Or uh, most likely you would not be here. Right. He chose us. <coughs> he knew me and his goodness has been running after me ever since. What joy fills my soul just to know, just to know. He's always been there for me. Amen. I looked up in a reference, and one of the references said 720 times in the King James Version is the word God, uh, excuse me, the word good, or goodness, or some form of the word good is found in the King James. I looked up a second reference, and they said 809 times the word good is found in some form in the King James Bible. Well, guess what? That tells me to sit up and to take notice that the goodness of God is for real. Amen. This is not a joke, folks. This is our God loving us, caring for us, wanting to provide for us. And I want to tell you that God delights in giving you the desires of your heart. He delights in that. He's not trying to withhold anything from you. It's his desire, and he delights in it. And we sometimes I think like, oh, we maybe need to have another picture of uh, how much God really does love us. You know, I went to uh, Exodus 34, 5, and 6. And just to give you just a quick background, this, this story is about Moses going a second time up to the mountain. And he's carrying the second set of tablets because the first tablet, you know, was destroyed because of the worship of the golden calf. And so God says, Moses, I want you to come up with another time, bring the tablets, and we're going to do this again. And in verse 6, it says, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God. Now this is God, and he's proclaiming about himself. And what's he saying? Full of mercy, gracious, long-suffering, and what else? Abundant in the goodness and the truth of God. Amen. Psalm says, how great is the goodness. <coughs> Psalms 52 says, the goodness of God endures continually. Psalms 23, we all know that we have that memorized. But it says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. This is what uh, David is saying. This is what I'm saying. Surely, goodness and mercy is going to follow me all the days of my life. It's been following me to this point. I'm now 70. And it's going to follow me until I go to be with him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, we, we have to see that, that God is abundant in his goodness. It abounds. And he desires to share this with us. And he, as I said, he delights. He 
delights in it. And I, I don't want to talk too much longer because I do want to give Tony the time opportunity. But I want to say to you, and I wrote this down in my journal, I said, who am I? Who am I? I am Dana Ross, a sinner, saved by the grace and the mercy and the love and the goodness of God. Yes. And now, this sinner, God looks with me with delight. Amen. I encourage you that God is looking 